Welcome to episode 16 of The Clean Sweep. We're in Sittingbourne, Kent. We're taking you around one of our summer cleaning contracts where we carry out deep cleaning for a cherry grading farm that is behind me. Let's take you guys inside and show you what we do for this particular customer. So this particular site that we're at in Kent that you can see behind me, this grades cherries. So what I mean by that is it determines the size and the ripeness of cherries so that they can be packed and shipped out to supermarkets all over the UK. Cherries are seasonal, so this is something we only carry out in the summer months. And what do we do here? Our responsibility is to make sure that the machine you see behind me is clean and fit for use the next day. So let's show you guys around some more and give you some more detail about what we do here. As one of the UK's leading cherry experts that I have become over the past five years, I'm gonna take you guys through step by step how we clean this particular machine. So the cherries are put on this particular belt they go up in a green tray and then they are tipped into the container over there. All these belts are washed down on a daily basis to make sure they're clean and ready for the next day. They get to this particular area and they are tipped and rotated and tipped out into this machine that is generally full of water. It's been emptied already. This particular area builds up quite a lot at the back here with cherries that have been tipped over and that haven't moved forward when the machine has been turned off. So the guys will scoop that out they'll put them in the waste container and they'll make sure that this area is cleaned out, ready for the next day. After here, the cherries go up the hill there and into the grading area. So as you can see from the container next to me here, this is the amount of waste and cherries and there are several of these around this particular area that come out this machine on a daily basis, whether that's because they've gone on the floor, they've got caught in a particular part, they've been jet washed out, or indeed, they're not ripe enough or the right size, they all come into these containers to be thrown away as waste. Step three of this process, the cherries come up here and they go into the grading unit here where they are shaken, spread out nice and evenly, and then they are graded by size and ripeness before they go into the boxing area that's behind us. We jet wash this all off, make sure we get all the stalks, any loose cherries off, jet them downstairs so we can take them out the exit doors that are at the bottom. So this particular process, we don't use any chemicals. This is a food safe environment, so we use fresh water only. During the end of the season deep clean, which we carry out once the grading is finished in around six to eight weeks time, we will use a food safe chemical on this machine before it goes back into storage ready for the summer of 2023. So as the cherries come through, they come to this particular part, they come out there this particular part of the machine, there is holes here which grade the cherries for the size. If they are too small, they fall through the hole, they go on the conveyor belt that you see underneath me and they are chucked out there into the waste container that I showed you guys earlier. They then come up through this particular machine and this unit you see behind me here, that will photograph and grade the cherries based on their size, denseness and ripeness making sure that they're adequate to go out into your local supermarket. So the area you now see behind me is where clean cherries, once they come through this grading machine, go to to be packed into boxes, put into cold storage and shipped all around the UK. We don't clean here every day behind me. This is done once a week on a Friday, ready for the Monday. The reason for that is 
the cherries have already gone through a process and they are clean. So we don't need to do this on a nightly basis. And plus it doesn't get that dirty. So this is done on a Friday, ready for the Monday. So we're in one of the cold stores. It is freezing in here. I'm not sure of the temperature, but this keeps the cherries nice and cool. They come once they're packed into here and they're stored before they're shipped, as I've mentioned, all around the country. We carry out a one-off specialist clean to these areas at the end of the season. I believe there's around 12 of them in this particular corridor and we carry out a full clean to the ceiling, walls and the floor on an annual basis. So the commercials on this particular contract, we are here five days a week, Monday through Friday. We have a cleaning operative on site from 7 a.m for eight hours. What does that guy do? Well, he's responsible for keeping all the welfare facilities, this floorway nice and clean, the toilets nice and clean, the kitchen nice and clean for the staff that are working here. In the evening, when we finish what we call grading in the cherry industry, our team of guys come in. There are three operatives. They spend around three and a half hours on site, making sure that this machine is nice and clean, ready for production the next day. The season generally lasts around six to eight weeks, depending on demand, how the season's gone and how the growth has gone. So we're here for that period, making sure everything's ready, nice and clean on a day-to-day -day basis. So we've been working with this client for around six years now. We have the same team of our specialist guys that come out and work on this contract on a yearly basis. The reason for that is some of the parts to this machine are quite sensitive, there are things we should and shouldn't be doing, and our guys are well versed in what needs to happen on this particular site. So it gives our client continuity of service, knowing that we're gonna come here, we know what we're doing, our staff are fully trained, they're using the right equipment, and we're delivering what we should be on a daily basis for this client. So guys, that concludes episode 16 of The Clean Sweep. I hope you found this video informative and my cherry picking and grading knowledge superior to anyone else that you know on YouTube. Make sure you always hit that like and subscribe button and we'll see you guys next week on episode 17.